Hello everyone, Terry Carl Joyedian here. Today's book bit is about ask and it is given. If you have been following me on my Terry Carl Facebook page, you've seen me talk about this book before. And if you've been following me recently, do not fear, I am not done with game changers. I am still continuing with the laws, just not there right now. And I had some things come up in my life with ask and it is given, particularly reintroducing the check game because of my husband. So I want to talk a little bit about this book again, it's been a while, and specifically about that activity. Asking It Is Given is by Esther and Jerry Hicks. It's on the teachings of Abraham, so it's a channeled entity or group of entities that share their teachings in here. A lot of it is basically the law of attraction. In fact, this is called Learning to Manifest Your Desires. And I love the positivity and the focus of Abraham, of this book of all the teachings, there's a lot on YouTube. If you haven't checked out Esther and Jerry Hicks or Abraham Hicks, check it out. But the book is organized into two parts. The first part is mainly theory. The second part is processes you can try. And what really struck me when reading this book, as I've mentioned before, is the continuum of emotions. It's a good guide for you to check in for where you are at the present moment and See if you can elevate to the next level. Number one is joy. And you can go all the way down to depression. And usually I can flip right to the page. Here we go. It's on 114. Goes from 1 to 22, starting with joy, knowledge, empowerment, freedom, love, and appreciation. Words that I love. Going all the way down to level 22, fear, grief, depression, despair, and powerlessness. I have not finished the book yet, but the processes help you, after you've checked in at what level you are, know where your next step can be. It helps bump you up to the next level because they talk about how it's not so easy to go from depression to joy. It's nearly impossible actually, but you can get to the next step. If you're at depression and you want to move up, you're ready to move on, you're moving on to insecurity, guilt, or unworthiness. So maybe you're jumping a little couple levels, but the next one would be jealousy. Next one is rage. So it's kind of like talking about the different stages of grief. That's what I connected this with and how it's very natural to have what we consider these lower level emotions and it's part of the process of you moving back to your wholeness, your whole state. So each of these processes, again, help you at whatever level you're starting with, you find where you're starting with, and then you go to the appropriate process. And the first couple processes are assuming that you're at a higher level, or you're not in a depressed state. And they're helping you just really advance to that joy, or keep that joy. Like one of them is the rampage of appreciation. There's a magical creation box. And the one that we're playing with is the check game. Remember, I think it's process number five. Yes, it's process number five. So, actually this one says you could be anywhere between joy and discouragement. So, basically what you do is you play with checks, play with abundance. I've had an interesting experience with this. You start with day one, $1,000, and then day two, you have $2,000. I think the easiest way to start this is if you start on the day of the month that matches. I start on the second day of the month, which is pretty close, but it still throws me off a little bit. So every day, you get to write a check. It's better if you write out actual, you know, like play checks, like that. And you buy something for that amount and it gets you in this state of play. It gets you in this state of anything is possible. And I really wanted to share that with you. It was kind of hard for me at first. I had to play with things a little bit. It's better if you spend every day they suggest that, but sometimes I found myself just letting a huge build up because if you don't spend it, it goes into your bank. You can spend that much the next day because some of the items that I wanted are really big ticket items like what was really cool is yesterday, I had been thinking I wanted to get um, a converted van and also I was interested in an RV 
and Brian was interested in starting the check game again because he kind of started with me but then was like not so into it but then we were working on his vision wall our vision wall and he got stuck so he's like I think we just need to loosen things up let's let's try this check game again so today I was online like looking up RVs and I actually found some that were kind of like a combination of the van and an RV and the price was about where I was because I'd gone lots of days without cashing out my check so I was able to write that big ticket price. I'll share it with you, why not? Here you go. <laughs> I'm buying an Airstream, a 2019 Atlas. I don't know, but that's gonna go on my wall for now. So um, the last thing I wanted to share with you about this besides how I can really open things up is how it can really be good for self-reflection. Get into this game as much as you can if you decide to try it out and play with it and notice the thoughts that come up as you are exploring this game because if you're thinking I have all this money I can spend it whatever I want there's like this openness um, you're not really thinking about compromise and I noticed my mind start to switch because at first I was like oh I, I need to spend about two hundred thousand dollars oh look here we go, we can I get this RV van converted and it's got everything. It's not used, it's new, it's got the best features, it's got a nice bathroom because it's very important to Brian. But then I was like, you know, as I was finishing up the game, I was like, oh man, that's, that's more than my house costs. <laughs> you know, and like, oh, maybe I do want to go used. You know, all these thoughts just started to come in. That's okay, just let yourself experience it. Notice, because that will help you be more aware throughout the day of where your thoughts are. Notice who is around you and what kind of media, what kind of books, uh, what are you putting in your environment in front of you? Is it abundance related or lack related? And I'm not saying that I should go out and buy a Sprinter RV right now. I don't even know if I can. <laughs> but what I am saying is allow yourself to be open to that abundant thinking and then be aware of what other thinking is currently present with you and in your environment because it does affect you I'm gonna wrap up there so I would love to know in the comments below if you are reading this book or maybe you've read this book because I've mentioned it before or if you just want to try the check game or if you have any other awesome games that help with abundance I need to learn to have more fun, so let's share with each other. Please subscribe if you haven't already, or if you're on Facebook, please make sure you like the page. And I will see you again next week. Much love and many blessings to you all.